guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs for another video. Today is a preview video of the Irish Under 21s uh, who are in action this Thursday in Armenia and then the following Tuesday against Sweden uh, in Tallis Stadium, which I'll be going and vlogging. Uh, before we get into that, uh, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. If you haven't been here before, please hit the subscribe button, which is literally underneath this video here. Um, and hit the bell notification button as well. The bell notification button keeps you up to date with any videos I'm doing. Uh, it's all free of charge. I know some people seem to think you have to pay for it, but you don't have to pay for it. Um, right, so moving on swiftly. Um, you know, Ireland are obviously top of their group. Um, they have a couple of games played more than Iceland, uh, Italy and Sweden. So, um, you know, that's... Um, you know, an advantage for the other teams, really. The last outing, they were beaten 1-0 in Iceland, and know Stephen Kenny is very disappointed about the feed in Iceland. Uh, they probably should have got something out of the game. Um, now, he has issues coming into the Armenia game, and possibly the Sweden game as well. Um, Malumfi is, is suspended for the Armenia game. He will be back for Sweden. And Leo Connor is also missing for the Armenia game and will be back for Sweden. I believe he's suspended as well. Obviously, Troy Parrish and Aaron Connolly have been called for the senior squad, so he's missing those two players. But furthermore, um, Michael Obafeni, Neil Ferrugia are injured as well. Cuevin Kelleher is injured. Uh, Connor Masterson and Trevor Clark are also injured as well. So there's problems for Stephen Kenny coming into these two games, certainly the Armenia game. They're well depleted overall. Um, I watched them at Tallis Stadium. I went to see them play Armenia. And I thought Ireland was superb. It was only 1-0, but could have been 4-5. Um, their best players of the night won't be available, as I said. Like, you know, th th that night, I think the best players were Troy Parrish. Malumfi was very good in midfield. And Connolly. The other issue is that Malumfi has a very good partnership with Connor Coventry in midfield. So you're breaking up a bit of a partnership there as well. So, um, you know, these are the issues. I think if you asked me a month ago, I would have said we would get at least four points, possibly six from these two games. Um, but they are, with with them being basically depleted, it just makes it that more difficult. Um, if they can somehow get through the Armenia game and get a win over there, and hopefully some of these players will be back um, for the Swedish game in Tala. They did beat Sweden 3-1 away. Um, again, they had Connolly, Powers and players of that available for that match. You know, they're going to be unavailable for this game. So regardless, they're going to be you know, they've Adam Ida up front. Um, El Bezzetti obviously plays for Waterford. And um, it'd be interesting to see if Danny Grant gets a go in any of these games. Grant has been very good uh, in the back end of the season with Bohemians in the League of Ireland. Um, he's a player I think that'll do very well and improve next season again. So it'd be interesting to see if he gets any games, but he's lacking that experience, I suppose, at that level. Um, you know, so it's hard to know what team they'll pick. Um, they brought in some other players. Scully's come in from West Ham, striker. I believe he scored 13 goals this season in the Under-21 League. Um, Bazoon has come back into the squad as well, goalkeeper as well. So um, there's a couple others as well. Um, just looking at it quickly here. Barrington's Corey O'Keefe has uh, come into the squad as well. He's on loan at Macclesfield. So um, just having a quick look at the squad actually there, and um, you know Liam Scales ECDs is in the squad. It'd be interesting to see who plays centre back, because with Masterson out, you obviously if Darrow Shea will play, uh, will Scales play? But Nathan Collins, captain at Stoke, you know a bit more experience at that level. Will he play? Midfield, they'll probably go with uh, Connor Coventry and Ronan, I'd imagine. Um, you obviously have Jason Knight. He might go wide. Uh, Dan Mandrew of Bowles is there. On the wing, you've got El Bezzetti. Gavin Kilkenny could come in as well from, from Bournemouth. Um, but I would say, compared to the last couple of games, um, they're lacking that trust uh, with Connolly and Parrish, obviously. Um, Obafeni seems to get injured an awful lot, which seems to be an issue as well. So... You know, I'd say I was confident that we would qualify now. I'm not so sure. Um, if they can somehow get that win in Armenia, in which I hope they do, then it might set them up for the game in Tal Stadium in Sweden. Um, I'd encourage people to go that, to that game. Um, hopefully, they can get one or two back for that. Um, 
but it's hard to know. Nobody has uh, said whether one or two of these players will be back for the Swedish game or not. Um, it's going to be a test to Stephen Kenny anyway in his managerial expertise, missing so many players to see what he can do with the team over the two games. And I think these two games, what happens in these two games, it's going to set the tone really. Like we're getting into the latter stages of the group now. Um, as I said, Ireland, if the game are two more than a lot of the competitors, they're only point ahead Iceland, three ahead of Italy, I think, but Italy have two games in hand, similarly over Sweden. So they probably have to get at least four points realistically and possibly get six. Um, but that's going to be difficult, the circumstances they're in. Um, so that's it basically guys I just thought I'd do a quick preview of the two games coming up for the under 21s I will be at Tallis Stadium for the game against Sweden to catch a vlog in that one so um, once again um, like, subscribe as I said the subscribe button is just below the video here and I'll catch you again cheers, I'll see you later good luck